hello hello beautiful people you are warmly welcome back to the channel if you are new in this place my name is rose keldy and this is the rose keldy ministry platform i want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone both my new subscribers and my old subscribers even those who come here to watch and never subscribe God richly bless you for being part of this family. As I always said, without you, there is no going to be ministry or Rose Kelly ministry because I am here because of you. Thank you and thank you and God richly bless you for coming here every week to watch these videos. I am just a media, I am just a map piece of God and anytime he gives me an assignment, anytime he gives me a word, I come here to deliver these messages to his people and I am glad that I can stand in the gap for you as a map piece. Today we have, you know, we want to continue from where we stopped the last time. For those of us who have been here, you could see that we have started activating the miracle financial breakthroughs in our lives by reading and praying some Psalms into our daily life, which we started from what day one to day seven. Let me just tell you the secret that you have just done. You have just activated your miracle financial breakthrough. The portals are opened for you to manifest that financial breakthrough physically. So today what I have for you is that I have a scripture, a prayer for you, a prayer that you can pray into your life to manifest these physically into the realms of the physical if you are interested to know these bible verse that would bring forth the manifestation power of your miracle financial breakthrough that i want you to stay tuned after this short commercial break i will be right back you are warmly welcome back from that short commercial break i just want to tell you a secret that before we entered into the scripture that I have for you today, this scripture, before I give you this scripture, let me just tell you a little bit about this scripture so that you know that we are not here to joke. The Bible said that when this man made this prayer, God answered him. And what was the prayer? That God should increase him, that God should enlarge his territory, and that God should bless him. And the Bible said, God answered him. That same God is that is the God you and I are worshiping. He is a God that answers prayer. He is the God of the yesterday, today, and forever. He is the God that when you call upon Him, He responds. This God will answer you when you make the effort today. Just that you have started already. I want to encourage you that now the fire is up. I don't want you to quench that fire. I want you to see this manifest. Because what is happening to some of you right now is that I have a personal encounter. So I just want to share a little bit of what is happening to you. If you have really, you know, take part or took part in that Psalms or if you have read that Psalm for the day seventh. All the seven days, sorry. What is happening to you right now is that all of a sudden, ideas are popping into your head. Yes, these ideas are what is going to bring the money. You are starting to have dreams. And when you have dreams, you are seeing things. You are receiving visions about new you know, opportunities. Right? New opportunities are coming. Some of you, you will start to have promotions from your former jobs. Those who are due promotion and promotion is never given to you. As you are taking part in this seven days miracle financial breakthrough, you will see that your bosses are going to accept you and they are going to grant you that increase that you need in that. 
And as I said, be sensitive because the Holy Spirit will be you know, releasing things into your spirit. Why? Because the portals are open. Why? Because the gates are open. Why? Because the doors are open. The opportunities are now at your hand. It will now left to you to make you know, use of them. The Bible says that for us to manifest anything in the physical, it must first happen in the spiritual realms. That is why I have come to, you know, to encourage you more, to grant you or to give you this prayer so that you will continue from where you have stopped, so that you will not stop, you know, doing what you have just started until you see it manifested in your life physically, you are never going to stop. And I am here to encourage you. I am here to motivate you. As time goes on, I will be giving you these scriptures. It is very important to make, you know, yourself ready. You have to be intentional. You have to be focused. You have to be specific. Don't go running about the circle. You know what you want. At least before this year ends, you know what you want. You won't go to grant you a miracle financial breakthrough. So I want you to be on that lane and make these necessary prayers accordingly. Don't go and say, I don't know. No, you have to know what you want. So let's get into the scripture. And again, before I grant you or I give you this scripture, this is what I want you to do. Do not be idle. Because an, an idle man, the devil will find job for you. I want you, if you don't have any job and you want God to bless you, I want you to go out there and get something with your hand doing so that with these, God can release his blessings upon it. The Bible says, he who do not work must not eat. There is no way God is going to bless you if you do not have anything in your hands that you are doing or that you are making that through that God can you know, bless it for you. So I want you not to be idle. Go out there and look for something to do. If really you want a financial breakthrough. For those who might be studying or those who might be in school and cannot work, your case is different. You are going to be praying that God is going to bless whoever that is helping you to pay your bills, your school fees, that God is going to what? bless that person and bless the works of that person so that you can also get your own, that you'll be comfortable in your schools. So let's get into the Bible. The Bible says in the book of 1 Chronicles 4 verse 9, and I read, for uh, first chronicle 4 verse 9 there was a man named jabez who was the most respected member of his family his mother had given him the name jabez because his birth had been very painful but jabez prayed to the god of israel today we are not going to focus on the pain of the mother that is another thing to get all together to pray or to talk about in another video but today our focus is on the prayer of jabez and that is what i want you to focus on that is the grace i want you to tap into it and pray this prayer with honesty Pray this prayer with faith that if God has done it for Jabez, he must do it for me. And then he said, bless me, God, and give me much land. Be with me and keep me from anything evil that might cause me pain. And this is where my, my, my point is. And God gave him what he prayed for. This man was specific. He was not running up around the bush or he was not scattering his prayer. He was specific. He was intentional. His intentional is that God should bless him and enlarge his territory and enlarge his properties. That means that already there is something going on for him. He has already something going on, but just that he needed an increase. Just like you and I needed this increase. Jabez prayed for increase and the Bible said and God answered him my dear what are you waiting for i want you to pray this prayer morning and evening 
you know, and pray it with faith. I am telling you, you will come here to testify to the glory of God. And when you do this, make sure that you are specific. You are not just praying it anyhow. I hope this will bless somebody and will turn somebody's finances all around for good and for better. If God has started doing some things in your life already, I want you to share it under this video or the other video that I have uploaded the previous time so that we can all be encouraged and inspired to continue this and, you know, for us to know that, yes, truly there is a possibility in God. Thank you very much for watching. God richly bless you. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I want you to do so by supporting this channel. Just hit on that subscription button and become, you know, a, a family member of this, you know, channel and you will never go and bless. <coughs> and you will never go unblessed god richly bless you shalom peace